Hey, and welcome to this tutorial about Maya's Smooth tool. I won't lie to you, most of the time you use this tool, we're gonna to be using the default settings. Let me just quickly make a duplicate. Right, so we can actually use this tool by going to Mesh, Smooth, and then increasing the divisions we want. For example, let's go ahead and just give us two. And this is gonna give us the same results as using the default Smooth Preview. So you can actually notice how the shapes here are the same between these two meshes. Now, if we go ahead and open up the tool settings, you're gonna see that we get a bunch of options and stuff, which can be quite overwhelming. And there's only one thing which I sometimes use. Most of the time, I'm just using the default settings. So I'll cover that now in this video. So I'll just make a selection of these top faces. It's gonna be easier to show you this example. At the moment, when we subdivide, it's going to round off as we expect. But what if we wanted to maintain the shape? However, just kind of increase the topology. We can go ahead and switch the tool to Mayer Catmull Clark. And now if we go down to where it says hard edges and just toggle that on, which is just going to take into consideration any hardened or softened edges. So now if we go ahead and hit apply, you will see it maintains the shape, which is sometimes the thing you want. Although you might find this quicker to just use the add divisions tool, which gives the same results, it's in the edit mesh menu. Just one last thing to note is that UVs are actually being smoothed by default. So what this means is that the tool applies the same smoothing operation to the UVs as it does to the vertices, which in theory should provide you better results for the UVs, but you can actually turn this off by changing the UV smoothing to none. Usually I just leave this on, although it's something useful to know. As I said at the beginning of this video, most of the time you're going to be using this tool as default. But as you can see, there's a lot of functionality in this tool, but a lot of it doesn't particularly do too much differently. Let me know if I've missed any tricks, but to me, that's how I use this tool the most. Be sure to join the Discord server to chat with a great community of fellow modelers, and check out my Gumroad for access to the members only chat and a whole bunch of assets and tools. Well, thanks for watching. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you did, hit the like and subscribe buttons. Come chat with me on Discord and I'll see you in the next video.